Welcome to Season 2. This is an entertainment channel, not a how-to channel. I'm still new to turning, so if you see something, say something in the comments below. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we have a request for a hat stand. Not just any particular hat stand, a double hat stand. The challenges here are going to be great. <laughs> I have this a piece of ambrosia maple I think will make a nice base. This is 11 by 3, so we'll make this into a base. Then we'll take these pieces of East Indian rosewood to make the stand uh, spires that kind of come up, out, and up again to the East Indian rosewood toppers. Uh, if you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm kind of referring to this image here as to what it should look like at the end. If you're interested in seeing the wig stands, I'll leave a link up here in the corner to that. Well, let's get started. I drew up a couple of designs that I thought of off the top of my head. I think this one's the one I'm going to go with. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but basically what it does is we're going to have a nice wide base. Nice wide base. We're going to cut it in at an angle and put a little lip up on this end. So showcase some of this wood when it's setting down. That's the plan. Let's get started. This sanding is so smooth on the bottom and on the sides pretty smooth except for right here. It's a huge piece of softwood mixed in. I mean, you can kind of see how punky it is here. Solid, solid, soft. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and do the CA glue trick and see if that works. Um, yeah. Watch this, soak it right up. Just pour it on. And it disappears, it soaks right in. Got quite a few layers in there already. Well, there's always been groups of people that never could see eye to eye. I always thought if they ever had a chance to sit down and talk face to face, they might realize they got a lot of the Well, I was sitting in a coffee shop, just having a cup to pass the time. Swapping rodeo stories with this old cowboy friend of mine. When some motorcycle riders started snickering in the back. And started poking fun at my friend's hat. One old boy said, hey Tex, where'd you park your horse? My friend just pulled his hat down low, but they couldn't be ignored. And one husky fella said, I think I'll rip that hat right off your head. That's when my friend turned around and this is what he said. You'll ride a black tornado across the western sky. A roping on blue norther and milk it till it's dry. Ears down flat long before you take this cowboy's hat. A part of this old hat is better left alone. You see, it used to be my daddy's, but last year he passed on. My nephew's getting the rattler that makes up this old hat band. And back in 69, he died in Vietnam. Now the eagle feather was given to me by an Indian friend of mine. 
But somebody ran him down somewhere around that Arizona line. And a real special lady gave me this hat pin. But I don't know if I'll ever see her again. You'll ride a black tornado across the western sky. Roping on blue norther and milk it till it's dry. Bulldog the Mississippi and pin its ears down flat. Long before you take this cowboy's hat Now if that old leather jacket means to you What this hat means to me Well I guess we understand each other And we'll just let it be But if you still think it's funny Man you got my back up against the wall And if you touch my hat You're gonna have to fight us all Well, for my first attempt at making a double hat stand, I think it turned out all right. Um, overall, we got 10 inch base, uh, 10 inch wide, and we're about 13 inches tall right to the center here off of the base. Then we've got nine and a half inches across by about five and a half inches tall from the arm to the top. I was concerned about uh, the hat being on here and the brims touching so I wanted to make sure that they were separated as much as possible and now they're separated. Uh, you're gonna have to have a pretty wide brim to be able to touch the other side. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look at it. This is a big piece to be manhandling. The East Indian Rosewood looks fantastic with that OB Shine Juice making it shine. I have to say my spindle work still needs a little bit, uh, little bit more work. <laughs> But overall, I think the spindle turning turned out all right. The ambrosia maple, we've got some nice curly maple in here too. I don't know if you can kind of see it, kind of pick it out a little bit through here. Also on the sides. The ambrosia, I think, shows up more on the bottom. I think I just turned it on the wrong side. So let's take a look at the bottom. Bottom is nice, nicely concave. We've got a couple of grooves on the inside before we get to the mortise and of course the logo in the center. So this is only sitting on the very edge. As you can see, there's a lot more uh, ambrosia maple here, ambrosia happening. I think it might've looked better on this side. Eh, what are you gonna do? Still looks fantastic on this side. You can kinda hope, I don't know if you can see the chatoyance in the, in the camera, but it, it does shine nicely. And uh, I hate whipping this around because I feel like it's pretty strong, but at the same time, I'm worried about breaking it. And at the same time, I'm putting a lot of faith in this piece of wood. Well, there you go, a double hat stand uh, out of ambrosia maple with East Indian rosewood. I think it turned out great. I really like it. I hope you did too. If you did, consider hitting that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and that notification bell. Thanks for giving me a turn on your screen, and we'll see you next week. Well, it certainly didn't take long. It certainly did. It certainly did not take. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you're not a subscriber and you want to help me out, click on my logo right there in the corner and become a subscriber. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.